there are a lot of people that I talk to that feel that plants have emotions and that they feel pain just like we do. And I respect that. You know, if you feel that plants feel, all right, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But today I want to show you how you can reduce plant suffering as much as humanly possible. So three of some of the most grown crops in America are corn, wheat, and oats. Livestock eats 70% of our wheat, 80% of our corn, and 95% of our oats. To grow livestock, we have to give them so many plants, so many plants that wanted to live and who were scared when they got chopped down and they can hear themselves getting eaten by these animals. We have to do something about that. 80% of deforestation is for livestock. We all know that deforestation not only kills and slaughters millions of plants and they're screaming out for help and no one's helping them. Not only do we know that because plants feel, they feel pain and they're scared, but this also affects the animals that live in those areas. This affects endangered species. Actually, deforestation in livestock affects almost every endangered species. If we stop consuming meat and dairy products, we will not only save millions and millions and millions of plants, but we will also reduce the suffering of animals inside and out of controlled farming practices. So the best thing to reduce plant suffering is to go plant-based. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.